Hey guys, it's John, and today we're playing Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc with my girlfriend Kimmy. We're recording a video together for the first time. I've actually played this game before. It's a horror mystery visual novel, and it's really good, actually. I think it's really good. Kimmy has seen the first chapter and a half mm -hmm. previously. We, we played it together, like, three years ago. Yeah. Or something like that. So uh, we thought it'd be fun to record for the channel. So we're putting part one on this channel, and part two and the rest of the game is going to be on my second channel, John Twolf. There'll be a link to that in the description. But if you don't know what this game is about, you'll just have to wait and see. It, it's a horror mystery visual novel is pretty much the best way I can describe it. Crazy yeah. shit happens. And if you know anything about me, you know that I'm... I don't love anime, but this game is awesome. So, yeah. Kimmy and I are going to be doing the voices. It's going to be a good time. Kimmy, is there anything you'd like to say to the viewers? Hi. It only took me six years to get here. Okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Wow. I'm joking. Kimmy streams. We'll put a link to her Twitch stream in the description. She streams more often than I do, so. Thank you. That's Twitch. very Twitch.tv slash Kimmy Kims. I only do puzzle games and, uh, I don't know. She, she, played, uh, like she played Rusty Lake Roots before I did, so. That's right. I got out to the people before uh, you. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So, yeah, let's go ahead and do this. And like I said, I have played this game before, so I know everything that happens. No naughty spoilers in the comments, please. Yeah. Uh, we're going to start a played it. We're going to start a new game. Woohoo. And this game does have two sequels and a spin-off game, which I haven't played those, but if you guys like this, we might play those as well on YouTube. What? There's also a TV show. Have you watched the anime? No. I I feel like the game is the superior experience, probably. That's yeah. why I've heard from everybody that's played it, anyway. Uh, let's just do kind. Whatever I feel you like, want. I feel like I'm not in this for a challenge. Are you sure? It's a visual novel. I mean, there's some gameplay, but... Like, there's first-person movement and mini-games and stuff. When I tried to play it, I did not handle it well, but that was also three years ago. My skills have improved a tiny bit. Her skills. My skills. I don't know. I think you should challenge yourself with this one. All right. Super. <gasps> What's happening? This game also has great music. Yeah, it does. It makes me want to dance to it. What's happening, John? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. That teddy bear doesn't seem very cuddly. No. Put him in a teddy bear coffin. <laughs> uh, teddy bear spaceship? Teddy bear coffin rocket ship. I think we should all have one of those. He's busting through. Look at him go. Yeah. What a way to go. He knows how to make an exit. Or an entrance, depends on where you are. Well, it looks like he's making an entrance right now. There he goes! He probably survived, right? I mean, I would assume so. What? <gasps> it did. Don't ask how it happened. I mean, I think we watched it happen. <laughs> that was my little bear, bear <laughs> laugh. That's how you would laugh if you were him. <laughs> it's a great laugh. He's dead. Okay, sorry. Wait, who reads this? Uh, go for it. The massive turn. high school towers over all the other buildings in this bustling urban area. It's like the school stands at the center of the entire world. Oh, this is like anime protagonist. It's not like a narrator. Okay. Oh, right. I gotta right, get my okay. anime protagonist voice. Gotta bring it down a couple notches. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, you gotta, you gotta break it, bring it up a couple notches. But, right, right, right. Hope's Peak Academy. There it is. <laughs> it brings in top students from every field imaginable. A government-funded school of privilege. They say that if you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. With hundreds of years of tradition, it sends the cream of the crop into the workforce every year. 
It was built to raise hope in the nation's future, which makes Hope's Peak a pretty fitting name. There are two things you need to attend this school. One, you have to already be attending high school. Two, you have to be the very best at what you do. No ordinary student could enroll here. The only way in is if you're scouted by the school itself. Shut up. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And standing there at the gate of the ultimate school, filled with the ultimate students. That's a lot was of pressure. Me. Oh, he's it was me. It was me. Before we go any farther, I guess I should introduce myself. Why are you My talking now? Makoto Naegi. Some of the some of the lines are voice acted, but most of them aren't. Right. Also, can we address this thing sitting behind my head sometimes? What? That's just the mouse that's just like, hey, you want to click? Yeah. Just in case anyone was wondering. <laughs> yeah. As you can see, I'm nothing but a hopelessly average high school student. Average on the outside, average on the inside. I really don't have much going for me when it comes to grades, special abilities, even personality. I mean, yeah, I have hobbies and stuff I like to do, but it's not like I'm a psychic or mutant or whatever. Apparently, <laughs> being a psychic or a mutant is the only noteworthy thing you can be. Oh. Huh. Like, if you ask me what my favorite song was or my favorite movie or TV show, They'd all just be whatever's most popular at that particular moment. What oh, a freaking normie. Seriously. Come on, get some interesting interests. Yeah, don't be a boring <laughs> little fucking cornflake. <laughs> Even among the average, I'm completely average. So I can't say I'm your everyday hero type. That's just who I am. So he's best at being average. He is the most average person ever. You, you, Is that his? You figured out something before you were supposed to figure it out, so oh, congratulations. Sorry. Anyway, I figure it's always good to introduce yourself right off the bat. But you know, if I have any kind of strong point, so to speak, I'd say I'm a little more gung ho than other people. See, that doesn't sound average to me. Yeah, he's more forthcoming, more yeah, impulsive, more uh, confident. Oh yes. The most confident. Yeah. The most confident average person. <laughs> yeah. I mean, look at me. I'm completely ordinary, but still. Yeah, we get it. Or you're, you're going to be hearing me say that a lot. Yeah, we get it. <laughs> Especially with Makoto. He freaking says the same thing like 8,000 times. Here I am, standing in front of the anything but ordinary Hope's Peak Academy. I still can't believe I'm standing here. I wonder if someone like me can survive in a place like this. He has legs for days, by the way. Look at how tiny his little body yeah, is. Yeah, he does have a very short torso. It's so little. It's got this overwhelming presence, like it's trying to swallow me whole. It's kind of hot. But it's no wonder I would feel that way. What you have to understand is, well, let me just tell you about the preparation I did last night to get to ready for today. Do we have to remember these yellow words? No, no, I was about okay. to comment on the yellow words. The yellow words are just like anything that the game is like, ooh, segue to this thing. Interesting. We're going to talk about the preparation now. For... What about the difference between blue and white words? Um, I think blue is internal, white is said out loud. So you just said something out loud that was internal yeah. thought. Yeah, he's an anime protagonist. All they right. talk to themselves a lot. I don't know why I'm trying to Otherwise, insert. how could the audience tell what they're thinking? <laughs> I don't know why I'm trying to insert logic into this. If you made it this far in the video and you're like, I don't know, just give it some time. You're going to have to give it a lot of time, but it's... <laughs> I understand I'm asking a lot, but... Hope's Peak only invites those students who are the truly elite in their field. This is like crap Reddit. Yeah, it right is. Right here. It's such a popular topic, there are threads online dedicated to talking about the school's attendees. So to prepare, I looked up some of the threads, and all I saw was talk about ultimate students, who are way beyond your average high schooler. Sorry, I didn't know I was going to be it's reading okay. the entire... Keep going. I'll For get example, my time to shine. one incoming student is the ultimate pop sensation. Oh. My. Which one do you think she is? Uh, I'm going to go for the center one. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You got it. The one with the shortest skirt, or at least yeah. wise. 
I guess she's a high school girl who's also the lead singer for a pop group famous all over the country. <laughs> That's the voice I'll give her. There's also the ultimate baseball star. He was the cleanup hitter for the national high school champs. Pro teams already have their eyes on him. Oh Look, my. He, he hit that ball so hard, it flattened it. And there's fire everywhere. Why Look is he so that. mad? It's beautiful. Is that hand painted? Probably. It looks like it. That's yeah. beautiful. All right. Uh, Let's tap the brakes I a little bit. I'm complimenting this game. I love the like R in this 10 game. minutes in. Okay, go ahead. No, uh, I do say that all the time on my channel, though. It's like the it's like the baseball personally insulted him or something. Look at this. <laughs> it really does look that way. He's fucking mad. <gasps> See that? Then there's the ultimate fashionista. Oh. Is he gonna go through all of them? I bet he will. That would keep in the style. She's been on the cover of tons of fashion magazines. She's what every high school girl wants to be. Yeah, he's gonna go through all of them. Oh, and they mentioned the ultimate biker gang leader too. The scary thing is he's the de facto leader of every biker gang in Japan. Gangs everywhere love the guy. If you're finding yourself unable to keep the characters straight, don't worry. There's no way he'll be able to forget any of this stuff. Yeah. <laughs> They'll bring it up every time you talk to them. Also, why are all the guys really scary so far and all the women are all like, Because <laughs> it's an anime. It's an anime. Go ahead. <laughs> I bet I, I think I just unleashed a couple salty comments when I said that. <laughs> That's okay. On top of that, there's the ultimate martial artist, the ultimate fanfic creator, the ultimate gambler, the ultimate swimming pro, the ultimate programmer, the ultimate clanvoriant, and some, and then some. Reading, <laughs> reading that made me realize how totally powerless I was. It was the country's finest, top to bottom. I felt like a tame little house cat who wandered into a pride of lions. <laughs> but still, there was something I couldn't stop thinking about. You see, there were a few students who I couldn't find any info on. No matter how much I looked. Intriguing. I mean, would you like to read Makoto for a little while? Are you getting tired? Are you getting bored of it? No, I want you to read something. Oh, okay. Sure. I don't know if I can match that voice, though. No, you just... With all those ultimate students, I'm the only one without any kind of worthwhile talent. But then, what about the... What about those other new students who didn't seem to pop up anywhere? Could they be just average students like me, without any talent or anything? That thought was kind of encouraging. I mean, I know I don't have much in the way of personality. But beyond that, there's an even bigger issue. Uh-oh. What could it be? How did such an unbelievably average student like me get picked to come to this ultimate high school? I mean... I guess there is a reason. You just have to take one glance at the acceptance letter they sent me to see why. They sent me. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta add like a stutter in every sentence <laughs> to really complete Easy. the look <laughs> on the anime protagonist. We recently held a lottery to select one ordinary student to attend our school. As a result, you have been selected, and we invite you to join us as the ultimate lucky student. They spelled it out as plain as day. I got invited by pure luck. Yellow words. Pure luck. Honestly, I probably would have been better off just declining their offer. But after hearing how graduating was a guarantee for success later in life, I just couldn't say no. But then, actually standing there in front of the school, I started to feel lost, like I didn't belong there. I could feel myself losing my nerve. But still, I can't just stand here in front of this gate forever. See, he's saying this out loud. Why? Because it's white. <laughs> but still, I it's just like imagine he's, him. He's psyching himself up. Still, I can't just stand here in front of the gate for. But still. Well, still, I can't just. <laughs> Frozen in place, murmuring to myself, I looked down at the acceptance letter clutched in my hand. 
It said there'd be a meeting for all incoming students in the main hall at 8 a.m. 8 a.m. The meeting still isn't for a little while, but... I should probably just head in. Yeah. I'm changing his voice. He you said like that him? out loud. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let's do this. So he's psyching himself up. He's yeah. getting he's getting yeah. hyped. Yeah. Things are about to get lit. Let's do this. I gathered up all my determination and tried to act like I'd done this a million times before. And I took my first step towards the main hall. Oh, that was him walking. Yeah. Do you want to read now that we're in the school? or? This is where we're supposed to meet, right? I guess I'm the first one here. Also said out loud. Yeah. <laughs> to no one. Then in his head, there's a really elegant clock over in the corner that says it's 7, 10 a.m. Oh my god, what a nerd. The meeting doesn't start until 8 o'clock. <laughs> oh my god. So there's still a full 50 minutes left. He's the best at being early. He's the ultimate early student. That's the lamest thing you can do. Ultimate be early at. bird. I say, if you're anywhere more than 15 minutes early, like... It's time to find some other things to do, maybe. I also realize that that is a controversial uh, opinion to have. Hey, some people think that being early is on time. And being on time is late. Ah, I know. That was a motto of my I family love those for people. years. They're some of my favorite to interact with and talk to. <laughs> it makes sense. Nobody else will be here yet. Then out loud. I was so wound up, I got here way too early. I have plenty of time before the meeting. Just standing around waiting isn't exactly... I should take a look around the school. Maybe that'll help calm me down a little. I hope someone is standing around the corner and they're like, you talk to yourself a lot. Well, he's about to talk to himself again. I am a student here now, so there shouldn't be any problem with me having to look around, right? Well, let me kill some time, if nothing else. Trying to play it cool, I took my first step into Hope Peak, Hope's Peak Academy. It was also my first step forward. Wait, my first step toward starting a new life at a new school. At least that's what I was hoping for. <gasps> Foreshadowing, perhaps? <gasps> what? What the? But the instant I took that first step forward, my view became warped, twisted. It was like some kind of delusion, melting away and mixing together into something else. Spinning, mixing, melting away, then spinning again. I'm kind of, I'm kind of making him too like. Uh. Yeah, yeah. I need to make him more like. Uh. I think a little bit higher pitch because uh. we're gonna have some guys uh. with deeper voices. Well, yeah, I'm. Make we him should, nerdier. we should try to like mimic their actual voices that they have. Yeah, he's a little bit more like this though. He talks more in the back of his yeah. voice. Yeah. Uh. Uh. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. In the next moment. Okay. Everything went black. <laughs> That sounded mean. I'm sorry. You can't laugh at my voices <laughs> on my channel. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> Black. <laughs> <laughs> that was beautiful. That was how it all began. And how life as I knew it came to an end. At that point, I should have realized the reason I was brought to Hope's Peak Academy wasn't because I had ultimate good luck. It was so I could experience ultimate despair. No. Welcome to Despair Prologue. Ooh, now we enter the prologue? So what was that, the pro prologue? That was his monologue. Oh, a different kind of You want to save the data? Yeah, let's save it. Checkpoint, we made it. Okay. <laughs> we made it to the prologue. Okay, wait, here we go. Look, look, speaking. See, now, now it clarifies. Except he's not saying anything. <sighs> wait, do you want to do it? Do it. You want me to do, do it? it? Okay, do sure, it. sure. <laughs> Now the horror begins. What? What? Where am I? I woke up with my head resting on top of a hard wooden desk. My body feels heavy. It's pretty normal for me to zonk off in the middle of some boring class or whatever, but what was I doing asleep here just now? This isn't a classroom I've ever been in before. What the heck is going on? He's speaking, he said. What the heck? What the heck? They all say that. I'm sure you remember. What the heck? Yeah. <laughs> what the heck? Welcome to Hope's Peak Academy. Firstly, we'd like to explain the basic controls. You want me to read all this? You ready? 
You can use the mouse to adjust your aim. If you aim at an object you can interact with, you can press the left mouse button. The left mouse button. That's right. And presto, you'll investigate that object. <laughs> so you can click on things. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, you're fixing your aim. Revelatory. Use the WASD buttons to adjust your viewpoint. Or you can press and hold the right mouse button and, and move the end Ooh, mouse around. Typo. That's yeah. a typo. And move the mouse Oh, around. the M is on the next line. Oh, and it over it, it's underneath the uh, mouse clicking overlay symbol. So many wow. mistakes. How this sloppy. This screen is a mess. <laughs> Zero out of ten. <laughs> Crap game. Throw it in the trash. Why don't you try looking around the classroom? Okay. Do you need the WASD? Can I do that? No. <laughs> Did you just say no? <laughs> <laughs> no. What should we click on? Question marks! That's the desk I fell asleep on. I can still see a line of drool I must have left there. Hmm. I'll have to clean that up later. Hey, what's that on the desk? An orientation guide? It's some kind of cheap looking pamphlet and there's something handwritten on it. The next semester is about to start. Starting today, this school will be your entire world. What the hell? Oh, I thought they only said heck. It's a is this someone's idea of a joke? If it is, I'm not laughing. <laughs> what is that? I like how you hurl a question mark at yeah. the thing in order to have something come up. <laughs> Do you want to read? Why don't you read? Nope, okay. Is that a surveillance camera? It's a dangerous world we live in. I guess they have these to keep weirdos from just wandering in. So he doesn't remember the warping vision then. Um, I think maybe he thinks it's just a dream. They gotcha. woke up from just now. Oh, okay. Geez, I can't believe it's already eight o'clock. It was just after seven when I first got here. Has it really been almost an hour since then? Hmm, has it? We don't know. There's a TV. The school is funded by the national government, so I guess it's not that weird to have TVs in here. That's a tiny ass TV too. Yeah. Something feels off. I wonder what it is. Mm. I'm giving him like a weird, uh, like 1960s kid voice. Yeah. Ooh. What the heck? In any normal classroom, that's where a window should be. But it looks like some kind of metal plate has been bolted over it. Hmm. That's not good. And if I were to knock on it... Bang, bang. Yeah, it's metal. <laughs> it is metal. Yup, <laughs> definitely metal. Thick, too. Very solid. He's an expert now. Right? On, like, the density of metal. <laughs> Wait, that's not what matters here. More importantly, why are there metal <laughs> plates over the windows? It came to the realization. Okay, let's see. So, what might have happened is... I got myself so wound up, I passed out in the main hall. And then someone carried me here? Yeah. Here? If that's true, it must mean... This is a classroom <laughs> beside Hope's Peak. <laughs> like, whenever whenever that flash occurs, the Makoto's having a fucking Like, realization? Epiphany. Yeah. Oh, God. Ah, Eureka moment. Ah, I'm inside what? Hope's Peak, where I'm I just was... Classroom. But then if that's true, that just raises more questions. This is all really strange. I mean, those metal plates covering the windows, it's like it's a prison or something. None of this makes any sense. I should probably head back to the main hall. It's already past the meeting time. There might be other students there now. You can, can leave? leave the classroom by pressing the R key. The R key? Can you do it? Yeah, you'll be the R. You'll be the R key. Leave the area? And then we have to confirm that we want to leave. <laughs> yes. 
Geez, this hallway is kind of weird, too. This is getting stranger by the second. I honestly have no idea what's going on. Well, for now, I'll just head to the main hall. Use the WASD keys to move through the hallway. Hold down the shift key while moving to run. Oh. Yeah, this is a yeah, this is a map of the floor. Also, you can press the tab key to bring up a map. Press the tab key again to close the map. How convenient! So yeah, first person gameplay, y'all. Woo 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 woo. You ever seen a visual novel with first person gameplay? It's pretty exciting. It's innovative. Uh, okay, so let's try to go somewhere. It's like doors with cushions on them. I wonder where this red door leads. I'm starting to feel sick standing here. Well, I guess we'll just wonder. Wait, he feels sick standing in front of the red doors? No, just, I think just standing Just the whole around. thing. Yeah. Gotcha. The AV room, it's locked. The school store. I guess it's not open. What tipped you off, Makoto? Was it all the keep out uh, yellow tape? Uh, huh? I guess. Oh, I guess it's not open. I guess it's not open. What about this? Oh, we're just going in. This is where we want to go. Oh, okay. By the time I got back to the main hall, everyone else was already there. Oh, Whoa, hey. Another new kid? Huh? huh? Then you guys are all... Yeah. We're all new here. Today's supposed to be our first day of class. Who's so saying what? Counting him, that makes 15. Seems like a good cutoff point, but I wonder if this is everyone. Why don't you start reading him now? Standing before me. Uh, standing before me. I gotta kinda... Standing before me. Standing before me were the ultimate students that had been handpicked by the school. I looked around at everyone who gathered there, taking in their faces one at a time. Maybe I was just imagining it, but I swear I could feel kind of an aura coming from each of them. Especially the guy with the hair. The guy with the hair. That's like all of them. <laughs> that guy. Oh, oh, Yasuhiro? Yeah, the guy with all the hair. Right. All of it. So, hold um, on. That guy. How's it going? My name's Mako, Makoto <laughs> Naegi. Marco. Ma my name's Mako. Uh, we just finished watching Avatar, Legend of Korra. Oh. So good. So good. Not as good as Last Airbender, though. Sorry. Not even a little bit. Sorry I'm late. A bunch of stuff happened, and then all of a sudden I was just asleep. Huh? Whoa, you too? Hmm. Things just keep getting curiouser and curiouser. Oh, we got a little Alice in Wonderland cosplayer over here, huh? I like her hair. Mm-hmm. So strange. I declare beyond a shadow of a doubt that this is a strange situation indeed. Ah, oh, thank you, question mark man. Kafumi. Spoiler <laughs> alert. Oh, I spoiled his name. <laughs> um, what are you talking about? I honestly have no idea what's going on right now. <laughs> going on right now. Just a moment. There's something else we must address. <laughs> Listen to me. Makoto, your tardiness is unacceptable. Sure, you were, you were aware the meek was to start at 8 a.m. sharp. Look at me! To be on your first day is unspeakable. I must report you and you must accept your due punishment. Whoa. What? What's your problem? It's not like he wanted to be late. He didn't have any control over it. That's right. Everyone just calm down. Listen, <laughs> why don't we all go around and introduce ourselves? Uh, huh? The hell? Wait, the hell? How am I gonna do this guy's voice? The hell? Now's no time for friggin' instructions. Oh, introductions. Sorry. <laughs> Maybe, but it may be good to at least find out who we are, all are before digging into the bigger problems here. I mean, how are we even supposed to talk to each other if we do not know each other's names? Yeah. That's a good point. Um... Okay, so let's get introductions out of the way, then we can move on to whatever to whatever else. Sound good? <laughs> I like how like three girls in a row have like the same voice. I know. I'm trying really hard ah! not to. Okay, well, let's first get introductions a little out of the way. And a little, a little higher. <laughs> All right. I'm still totally lost, but I think it's best to just focus on getting to know each other for now. 
So I guess this is as good a chance as I'm gonna get. I already looked everyone up on that Hope's Peak Academy thread online, but I still don't really know what kind of people they actually are. Time to find out. That's right, it is. All right, so we'll start with these five. Okay. So we're gonna spend a lot of time uh, talking to the students in this episode, but it won't it be gets all. Better. It won't it gets be all better. the video. Yeah, yeah. Kimmy can attest to that. Yeah. The beginning is slow, but it gets a lot better. Yeah, there's just a lot of like world building that happens. The first time we played this together, I was very confused as to why you kept pushing it because you're like, I hate anime. I hate anime. Oh, we should play this game. <laughs> oh, we should play like, Danganronpa why? though. You should actually play Danganronpa though. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Each conversation is important to the overall story, so keep track of how they go. Each conversation. You don't want to read it like an. Who do you want to start with? Um, let's start with him. Hifumi. Hifumi. You know what? Start with Hifumi. I am Hifumi Yamada. But if you want to call me by my nickname, the Alpha and the Omega. Whoa. I don't mind. That was quite the voice change. <coughs> Hifumi. He's the ultimate fanfic creator. Mm -hmm. By the way, how much do you know about the world of 2D art? So much. You know where this is going. So much. World of 2D? <laughs> well, in that world, I am well known and supremely well regarded as the ultimate fanfic creator. Oh my. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'd be bragging I about once that. sold 10,000 copies of one of my fan comics at a school festival. The event has passed into legend. Hmm. Some of them didn't get it, of course, saying I tainted the event. How stupid can you be? What were you going to say? Oh, I'm just making fun of him. This is... This is professional, professional video going out to thousands of people. All right. I need you to be on right. your game. I'm on my game. Remember to cut this out later. <laughs> I love you. you. <laughs> anyway. <I'm> so <laughs> <happy>. <laughs> That's too bad about them, but selling 10,000 copies like that is definitely pretty remarkable. However. <laughs> the words of such idiots mean nothing to me. I am like Van Gogh, utterly unappreciated in my time. I am a soldier, serving night and day to destroy all mindless preconceptions about fan fiction. I'm a soldier. Yeah. <laughs> okay. This guy thinks a lot of himself. Yeah, he sure does. I'm sure if you were to observe my work, Mr. Nyagi, you would comprehend <laughs> its greatness immediately. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. For my work is filled with deepest meaning. What? What kind of meaning? Yes, indeed. It's about embracing our basest urges. I don't think I want to comprehend it. I don't blame him. Okay, so that's a Fumi. Who next? You choose. Let's do a girl next so we can swap. That way you, you don't like... Sayaka or in. Toko? Uh, which one are you more interested in? It's a, it's a, it's, it's, your, it's your call. All right, let's do, let's do girl on the left. Yeah. Toko. Toko! Not that you'll remember my name anyway, but I'm Toko. Toko Fukawa. Toko. Toko Fukawa. Ultimate writing prodigy. Yeah, she wrote a novel when she was 10 that got everyone talking and launched her literary career. Then two years ago, she released So Lingers the Ocean, a love story said to be her masterpiece. The book was such a hit with women that fishermen quickly shot to the top of every hottest men pole. Oh my. Despite her age, she's won countless literary prizes and all her books are instant bestsellers. Which is why she's come to be known as the ultimate writing prodigy. So he followed her? Apparently. Mm, all right. What else would you call such a young and talented author? Makoto sounds like a fan. Right? But I figured she'd be a lovey-dovey type. What with their masterpiece being a romance and all. <laughs> What's your problem? Uh, what? It's not polite to stare, you know. <gasps> what the heck? Stop staring at me like I'm some, some filthy creature. <laughs> There's our first, what the heck? What the heck? I know. <laughs> filthy creature? No, I, I just thought. <clears throat> I, I know what you just thought. You just thought you'd never seen such an ugly woman. You just th thought it was so funny. No, no, that, that's not what I was thinking at all. I'm telling you. Don't bother trying to lie to me. I 
know it's true, otherwise you... I know you can't stand looking at me! Anyway... Whatever, I, I don't really care. I'm used to it. Wow, talk about an inferiority complex. I was way off about what a successful author would be like. She's a tone it down a notch. Let's take a look at the machine guns. Oh yeah, those are machine guns? I thought they were cameras. That surveillance camera has what looks like a gun attached to it. But there's no way that's a real gun, right? Hmm. Ba ba ba. Who next? Uh, redhead guy. Leon. Yo, the name's Leon Kuwata. What's up? Yeah. Yo. Leon Kuwata. Ultimate baseball star. I recognize that name. Oh, back to this, are we? Oh, that's right. He played for the National High School Champs as their cleanup hitter. The ultimate baseball star. And that superb athletic specimen is... Specimen? You? Seriously? Yeah, what happened? Huh? What's wrong? Nothing. I'm I'm just surprised. I figured with you being the ultimate baseball star and all. Give me a break. Give me a break. What? Were you expecting some kid with a shaved head? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, yo! Shaved head? No, I was just expecting more of a, you know, sporty looking traditional baseball player type. I mean, when I found that article and picture of you online, that's how you looked then. <laughs> what? Oh man, you found the picture of me playing baseball? Seriously, I hate that picture! What the crap? <laughs> this is not cool. This is so not cool. Seriously, I'm like mega embarrassed right now. <laughs> Sorry. I don't have a choice, okay? Shaving your head like that is part of national championship regulations. Wait, seriously? But now I refuse to cut my hair, and I'm not gonna die back to normal either. Yeah. Hey, Actually, can I be totally honest with you? No. You know, I don't like baseball. Like, at all. I've never gone to a single practice. He's never practiced, but he was still his team's star player. He's some kind of prodigy. Yeah! As soon as I got accepted here, I quit baseball for good. I have my own dream for the future. That's very anime of you. I'm just mimicking his pose. Yeah. He looks very violent. Yeah, he does. A dream for the future? <laughs> oh. My only path in life is getting into music. <laughs> you can feel that star quality aura I have, right? You know what I mean. I'm gonna be a singer, so all <laughs> I need to do is a songwriter and someone on guitar, and we're set. I'm gonna be a How singer? Cool is that? This new version of me that's chasing after a dream is like super cool to the max! I can't believe what I'm hearing. I never imagined I'd hear something like that from a baseball all-star. Cool. Leon's fascinating. I like his uh, safety pin, his lapel. Oh, yeah. Very woke of him. Hi, I'm Sayaka Maizono. I look forward to getting to know you. Oh, okay. Ultimate pop sensation. Here we are. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Thank you. The way she moves is positively mesmerizing. And that pleasant scent I can't quite put. You're smelling her already? He's like... <laughs> He's <so> nice. <laughs> pleasant scent I can't quite place. Sayaka Maizono. <coughs> Excuse me. When I saw her name in that thread online, frankly, I was pretty surprised. She's in a pop group famous all across the country. In fact, she's their lead singer. As the ultimate pop sensation, she's in high demand to appear on TV and in magazines everywhere. I probably have to switch to a different voice that's not so like, uh, throat. Yeah, just make it your normal voice. That way you don't have to worry about Yeah, because he it. talks way more than the rest of them. Yeah, he does. Just do your normal voice. Sorry, everybody. Sorry to break the immersion. <laughs> but actually, that's not the only reason I was so surprised to find out she's been going to this school. She'd be going to this school. I'm sure she doesn't remember, but... Well, never mind. No matter how you slice it, she's really beautiful. Almost like a doll or something. Whoa, she's a human being. He's already objectifying her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not a doll, you know. I'm alive. Huh? Did you hear me? I... I'm psychic. Huh? <laughs> Kidding! I just have really good intuition. <laughs> Most of her audio, uh... Bits are like 
<laughs> yeah, she just giggles like <laughs> that. <laughs> I hope not like that. She's a sharp one. Hey, um... Huh? Hey, by any chance? Now what? Huh? Yeah, it must be. I'm sure of it. Oh, sorry, that's me. Hey, Makoto? Makoto? Makoto. Makoto? Did... Just hold on. Jeez, you guys! How long do you plan to waste our valuable time with this ridiculous back and forth? Uh, um, sorry. Just got carried away, I guess. You hear me? Some introductions are for introducing yourself, not bumbling around through a bunch of idle chit-chat. Um, you're right. Sorry. Sorry, Nakoto. We can talk about this later. Where'd she go? Bye! It sounded like Sayaka really had something she wanted to say. <laughs> but it's not like we'll ever see each other again. We'll never see each other again. Yeah, locked in this place. Right, he's like, it's not like... <laughs> like she said, we can talk later. Oh, it's not like. Right. Okay. Right, yeah. Cool! I guess we have to talk to a <coughs> giant asshole over here. Yeah, I'm, I moved the mic away so I can <laughs> You can really shout. let loose. I'm Kiyotaka Ishimaru. I believe in bold simplicity. Let's work together on our educational crusade. Okay. Ultimate moral compass. Ooh, that armband, man. That's rough. <laughs> <laughs> so that's Kiyotaka. According to what I saw about him on that thread, he went to a famous private school and won top honors every year. He's basically a flawless otter student. He's also known for the work he's done with his community's public morals committee. They say he respects rules above all else, earning him the title of Ultimate Moral Compass. More like Ultimate Buzzkill. Okay, well he's not shouting right now. Anyway, you didn't call me Taka. You said your name was Makoto Naegi, right? <laughs> That's a good name! A strong name! You should thank your parents for giving you an excellent name! You hear me? Wow, he is- And to keep that name from losing its value, you, you must devote yourself every single day! Life is worth putting every ounce of effort into, right? Right? <laughs> this guy is kind of annoying. Yeah, just a little. Hey, Okay, more now people. we got the next five. I think it's three sets of five. That so. makes sense. Who next? Oh, we gotta do a girl. Oh, there's four girls. I was gonna say, take your pick. Um. Let's talk to Boobs McGee over here. Boobs McGee? Yeah. How do you Hina? say your name? Heya. Oh. I'm Asahina. Owie. But my friends just call me Hina. Sup? Yeah, she's Sup? just Hina. Yeah, she's cool, casual. Yeah. Owie. Owie One of the guys. Asahina. What's up? Okay. Ultimate swimming pro. Oh. And we get to see her in a bikini at some point. <laughs> Owie Asahina. She's been breaking records in every competition since she's... Oh, wait. She's been in since elementary school. She's even been chosen as an upcoming Olympic cadet. She's without a doubt... The ultimate swimming pro. The combination of her ability, appearance, and um proportions has been widely discussed online. Boobs McGee! So uh what was your name again? Sorry, totally forgot. Makoto Naegi. <laughs> oh yeah, I knew it was something like that. Something like that, yeah. No, not something like that. It is that. You got it! Sure, sure, got it. Here, I'll hammer into my brain right now. Yeah. Makoto Nayagi? Nayagi. Nayagi. Makoto Nayagi. Makoto. Makoto. What did I say? Makoto. You really want his name to be Makoto. <laughs> I do. I do. <laughs> Makoto Nayagi. It's pronounced Makoto <laughs> Nayagi. Wait, you stupid fucking idiot. It's pronounced Makoto Nayagi. Makoto Nayagi. Yeah, I yeah, see yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's about all I'm gonna do for that. She just kept repeating my name and moving her finger across her palm like it was, she was writing something. What are you doing? Huh? You don't know? If you want to remember someone's name, you gotta write on your hand three times. I've never heard of that before in my life. Mm. Hey, by the way, how do you spell your last name? You spell it exactly like it sounds. Man, Makoto is not having this girl. No, he's not. He, he does not like her. Mm. Mm. Um. Mm. <laughs> well, I have no idea. 
Oh, that was a terrible laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just figure it out later and write it down. Okay. Anyway, glad to meet ya. So sure, same here. Well, one thing I learned is that she's totally easygoing and bursting with energy. What? Is she now? Bursting. Okay. We'll have to do two girls and then Mondo and then two girls. Okay. Let's do the next girl. Let's just do Chihiro. Yeah. Chihiro! She's so cute. Hello. Nice to meet you. I'm Chihiro Fujisaki. Ultimate programmer. Oh. Sorry, I kind I get kind of embarrassed whenever I introduce myself like this. <laughs> anyway, I hope we can get along. Same here. Nice to meet you. Huh? Huh? Maybe it's just my imagination, but have we met before? Um, I don't think so. We just met for the first time, which is why I said nice to meet you. He is getting snarky. Yeah, Mikoto's got a little sass, yeah. Totally a little sassy Mikoto. for a little average nothing. A little yeah. irrelevant nobody. Yeah, he needs to... He needs to dial it back. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Good point. Sorry. You don't have to apologize for that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Chihiro Fujisaki is known for all the cutting-edge programs she's created. She's the ultimate programmer. Ultimate programmer! She's also got that timid little bunny type thing going on, which has endeared her to her legion of fans. Aww. Um, hey, so listen... Why are you crying? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Huh? What are you apologizing for now? Um, well, just cause you seem upset. You must be mad at me, right? No, not at all. I was just lost in thought about something. Huh? Huh? Lost in thought? Yeah, it had nothing to do with me being upset or anything. Thank you. Oh, that's good. I was afraid maybe you didn't like me. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm starting to understand why her fans are so into her. Well, Makoto. TMI. All right. We need to hear about how you got a chub or whatever. <laughs> All right, here we go. Name's Mondo Awada. Nice to fucking meet you. Ooh. Yeah. Hey, Steve Bloom. <laughs> Ultimate biker gang leader. Mondo Awada, huh? Which means he's the current leader of the. <laughs> <laughs> what's the what's the word big spam? Pa, pa, and oh, it's just sound effects. He's the current yeah. leader of the largest biker gang in Japan. He's earned respect, even awe from every gang in the country. He's the ultimate biker gang leader. I think it says pa and brew on the other side. Um, nice to meet you too. Yo, hell yeah! <laughs> I'd better be careful around him. One wrong word, and I could wake up at the bottom of the sea. Oh my! What is with his hair? Wow! No, no, that, that was, was really it? quick. Yeah. All right. All right. We'll just do Kyoko. <laughs> um, can I ask you your name? My name is Kyoko Kirigiri. Kirigiri? Ultimate? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Kyoko Kirigiri. We don't know what she is. Mm. She's pretty tight lipped, huh? Oh, but you know. Her name didn't show up anywhere in that Hope's Peak Academy thread. She is sneaky. And I did see that there were students like me, ones who didn't have any real identity or presence. Could this girl be one of them? Hmm. Um, so what are you doing at this school? What? What's that supposed to mean? No, I just meant getting invited here means you're some kind of ultimate something, right? So what ultimate something are you? That doesn't matter. Why should I tell you? Huh? Well, I guess you don't have to tell me. <sighs> no, I don't have to tell you, so I'm not going to. Bitch. Nothing about her turned up online, so I was thinking maybe she got picked by chance like me, but... Mm. Her face is like an iron mask. If she doesn't want to tell me anything, no point in asking. All right. Yeah, this group is a little standoffish. Yeah. Hi. Uh -huh. I'm Junko Enishima. Charmed, I'm sure. Hi. 
the ultimate fashionista. Is she though? Apparently. Uh -huh. Anybody would recognize this one. I remember her from the covers. She's got more charm and presence than any high school girl in the country. She's the ultimate fashionista. <laughs> I've seen her on tons of magazine covers, but I feel like that doesn't quite match up to reality. Is he saying that out loud to her? Huh? Come on. Oh, are you talking about my cover photos and junk? <laughs> well, of course. Those are totally photoshopped. Photoshopped? That's a program. Yeah, you know, edited to hell and back with, like, computers and junk. Oh, so they aren't real. Look how big her boobs are in that one. Yeah, I know. What's going on? Boobs McGee the twin. Yeah. What can we do? Come on, don't act so surprised. You're going to make me all depressed. Totally. It's totally normal these days to Photoshop the crap out of cover photos. If you're surprised by that, you'd be totally blown away by a certain dangerous little diva of ours. <laughs> they make the eyes and junk super big and tweak the skin so it looks all ceramic and porcelain. Oh. So many dreams are getting crushed today. I need to get over that. <laughs> okay. Oh, we only have four left. Oh, because we're the fifth one. Right. All right. Let's start with the trash. The trash. Name's Byakuya Togami. This guy fucking sucks. Oh. I hate this His voice reminds me of, of uh, L from uh, Attack on <coughs> uh, Death Note. Death Note. Oh, I know, sorry, I'm sorry. L from Attack on Titan. I know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's I, okay. You're a, it's, I bring this my is a safe space. Is it though? You can be wrong about anime and no one will care because it doesn't matter. It's fine. That's a lie. We're gonna crucify He's the me. ultimate affluent progeny. What does that even mean? Uh, he's rich. Oh, okay. Hi, uh, <laughs> nice to meet you. That's the most half-assed introduction I've ever heard. But there isn't really anything I can do about it. In among the ultimate students, this one is special. The Yakio Togami. He's the heir apparent of his family's massive financial conglomerate. He's already started managing business operations, and his own personal assets are, well, vast. His Next. title of ultimate affluent progeny is completely accurate. He's the definition of exceptional. That's everything I learned about him from that Hope's Peak Academy thread online. Come on. We're done with introductions, right? How much longer are you going to stand there? Go away, I'm sick of looking at you. Oh my. Yeah, this guy fucking sucks. Yeah. I want to punch him in the face oh. until he has no face. That's brutal. Yeah. <laughs> His aura says to me, you and I will never stand on the same level, like a king in training. Oh, great. So when does he go away? I am Sakura Ogami. I am Sakura Ogami. Don't ask me about Ogami. spoilers. I can't say anything. I can't react in any way. One way or the other. Oh, geez. I almost asked her if she was a guy. Oh. The day I say something like that out loud is the day I get turned into a human meatball. Probably. What, like she's gonna beat the shit out of you just for <laughs> being a little rude? Just ask for her pronouns. Just say, hey, what are your pronouns? Or just like... Don't address just it. Just don't address her. <laughs> just don't talk to her at all. <laughs> no, you can talk to her without addressing. No, 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 just don't say anything. It's just, it's safer that way. <laughs> okay. But now I remember, she competed <laughs> in a martial arts tournament in America and won, despite being a girl. Despite? Does she look anything like despite? No. Yeah. She's the ultimate martial artist. She's fought in over 400 matches and never lost a single one. Yeah, way to get it, girl. That thread also said a bit more about her. Some call her Ogre. Some even think she's the closest snow relative to the primates, the famed missing link. Oh my god, this is mean! It's a very progressive thread. Any incoming Hope's Peak students who are reading this, let me warn you right now, if you value your life, Avoid her at all costs. Oh my. Staying in front of her now, I don't think they were exaggerating about that. Hey. Hey, you. Huh? Yes? I snapped to attention without even realizing it. Then she started to poke and prod at my body. She needs to learn some space. Um, what are you? I see. Muscular quality and quantity is right around that of an extremely ordinary high school student. That's such an anime thing to say. Yeah. She's not a robot. <laughs> 
You appear Ishii. to be level 50, whereas <laughs> I am level 217. Hmm. Hmm. What a shame. You're not at all fit to act as my training partner. I'm not sure that's such a shame for me. Right? Okay. Uh, hair dude. <coughs> Yasuhiro. Yeah. I'm Yasuhiro Hagakure. Hero for short. Take it easy, yeah? I know I will. Yeah, man. The ultimate clairvoyant. Here we go. Yasuhiro Hagakure. Known as Supernova in the psychic community. The trend setting ultimate clairvoyant. Honestly, I don't really get that fortune telling stuff. It's pretty much beyond me. So I can't help wondering if there's any truth to it. Could it be? Uh, okay, I give up. Huh? What happened? You're serious. I saw it. I looked right at it. Seriously, I totally saw it. Saw what? Hmm. A guardian angel with a crazy perm chasing after Bigfoot running off <laughs> with a skyfish in its mouth. And that guardian angel is your guardian angel. Yeah, okay. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but hey, we should all grab some brewskis sometime and get real deep into Lemuria and its civilization. What? We're not allowed to drink? We're in high school. You know? Oh, I'm actually 21. I've been held back a few times, see, and, well, it's a long story. A few times? Yeah, I bet that is a long story. And last. Celeste. But least. Uh-oh. That's an opinion. I do not, not like her either. Been introduced. I am Celestia Ludenberg. Oh my. The ultimate gambler. Oh, that's interesting. That's not what I would have pegged on her. Celestia Luden, huh? <laughs> Ludenberg. It, it is my name. But if you don't mind, I would prefer for you to call me Celeste. Um, you are a Japanese, right? Huh? Of course. Why do you ask? If you don't mind, could you tell me your real name? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Celestia Ludenberg is my real name. But as I mentioned, I would much rather you call me Celeste. She's polite, but pretty forceful at the same time. I don't think she wants to say any more about it. I guess the rumors in that thread were right about her. What's on her finger? She like a metal finger. I'll see. The self-styled... Celestia Ludenberg, she's the ultimate gambler who's never lost a bet. Other than her obvious love of gothic Lolita clothes, everything about her is wrapped in a veil of lies. Sorry, I keep yawning. It's just because I'm sitting. That's really it. Go ahead. They say she entered and won an underground gambling tournament, earning the title Queen of Liars. She totally cleaned out the other players, taking their life savings and laughing as she did it. <laughs> I look forward to getting to know you better. I think it's like a little, like, blade? Like a ring? Because, look, it's got a sharp tip. I know. That's what I was wondering. I think it's like to... I don't know. No. Gut your neck. Yeah. <laughs> that smile is beyond deceptive. I'd better watch myself around her. All right. And with that, all the introductions are done. Hmm. Even though they're all ultimate, they each have their own individual sort of, um, something. Right? <laughs> okay, time to get down to business. This is no time to stand around making friends like a bunch of dull-eyed baboons. Oh, that's true. I think someone said something about a bigger problem or something. What was that about? I feel like I should, I feel like I should make offensive Jake's voice here. <laughs> I think someone said something about a bigger problem or something. What was that about? <laughs> Oh, that's a little too perfect. <laughs> Jake's um, in the game. <laughs> no. Well, you see, uh, um, Makoto, you said a bunch of stuff happened and then you were just asleep, right? Well, the same is true for all of us. What? Seriously? I mean, seriously? Yeah, you just said that. Just as each of us got to the main hall, we lost consciousness. And when we came to, we were somewhere here in the school. That's what happened to you, right? But, but that's just weird. That every one of us would get knocked out like that. Piece of shit! Exactly! That's why we're all freaking out! <laughs> what is with this hair? That's not the only thing. You saw where all the windows in the classes and hallways were, right? 
But instead of normal glass windows, it was a bunch of big metal plates. What's that about? Are you for real? Plus, all my stuff's missing. Even my cell phone! Um... Yeah, you're right. I haven't seen my PDA anywhere, either. And then there's the main hall here. The front exit is completely blocked by some giant metal hatch. What does this mean? Yeah. Well, there wasn't anything like that when I first got here. What the heck? What the heck? What's it doing there? <laughs> Maybe we got caught up in some kind of, like, you know, crime or something? Is it, like... What, like, the kidnapping? You think maybe someone grabbed us and hauled us off when we're not actually at school? Hey, come on. Uh, come on, I don't think like that. Okay, I'm messing their voices a lot. Come on, don't think like that. Cheer up. I bet this is all just part of the school's orientation procedure. That's a really intense orientation process. <laughs> yeah, I know. You know? Yeah, I'm sure that's it. So I'm just going to take it easy for a little bit. I see. Oh, do you think they wanted to do something to surprise us? What the hell? Huh? Well, that's all it is. It's nap time for me. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's cranky, Leon. <laughs> you know what I mean. I was up way too late last night, so I could use a little shed eye. <laughs> I could feel everyone's tension evaporating, but then it began. What's starting? What's happening? Oh God! You have to do this voice. Ahem, ahem. Testing, testing. Mic check one two. This is a test of the school broadcast system. Am I on? Can everyone hear me? Okay. Well then. The voice seemed totally out of place. It was so playful, so com so completely unconcerned. I couldn't help but feel a deep, unnerving dread at the sound of it. Yeah, right? It was like hearing someone laugh at the scene of an accident. Uh, to all incoming students, I would like to begin the entrance ceremony at... Right now! Please make your way to the gymnasium at your earliest convenience. That's all. I'll be waiting. I'll be waiting. I'll be waiting. Uh... Right. What the hell was that just now? Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> well then, if you'll Goodbye. excuse me. Hey, hey, uh, what? You're gonna take off just like that? Could it be? Oh yeah, now I get it. This whole thing was just to get us all pumped for the entrance ceremony. <laughs> then, thank God it was all a joke. I'd be totally freaked if this was real. You know? All right, guess I'll head out too. Wonder what they got planned for us next. Huh. Uh, Damn, was totally looking forward to that nap too, where they have to go and kill the mood. Okay. Huh? Wait for me, I wanna go with you. They do this sometimes. It's like at the end of a scene, if they leave they the to, room, like, close everyone it's like out. every character gets an exit monologue. <laughs> that is that then. I'll see you all there. Anyway. Not that anyone cares, but I'm gonna go too. Everyone took off for the gym, but I was frozen where I stood. That uneasy feeling I'd had before. I couldn't get it out of my mind. And it looked like I wasn't the only one. But, um, this? This doesn't seem right. This is bad. Yeah, that announcement was totally weird. However... Maybe, but just staying put doesn't mean we'll be safe. Besides, are you guys just a little bit curious to find out what's going on around here? I see. If we do not move forward, we learn nothing. The only choice is to push ahead. I, I guess she's right. Wow, Makoto and all the ladies. Right? But still, I'm kind of, no, really nervous. We don't have a choice. We have to go. They said to go to the gym, hey. right? <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, okay, fine. Let's save. I'll do it in the second slot. There we go. So we can talk to them a little bit more, but I'm not sure how much more we're going to learn. <clears throat> yeah, let's just move forward. You want to look around the room a little bit? Oh, sure. A mailbox. There's nothing inside. Okay. Well, that was cool. Yeah, that happens a lot. Uh... Yeah, 
Uji TV. Wow, there's seven of them still in here. Okay, so yeah, do you want to leave? Yeah. You're kind of in control of like where oh, we go. Oh, sorry, I forgot I was the exit person. No, it's okay. That's okay. Okay, so we go to the gymnasium, right? Yeah. Okay. So I guess it's forward. No, I think it's uh. Oh, uh is it behind us? Yeah. yeah oh yeah. no, it's forward. Is oh, it? Right. Yeah. Look at the map again. Yeah. Oh. I didn't mean behind the bars. Oh yeah, yeah. I thought it was behind us for some reason. Hey, come on. God, I had no idea this Hope's Peak Academy place was gonna be such a pain in my balls. <laughs> It really ain't that much different from the time I spent in juvie. Hell, this place is even worse. Is it though? Um, why isn't there anyone here? Walking through the halls, I didn't see a single person. This is bad. Isn't that like seriously not good? They're just trying to spook us. They'll take those metal plates out later, I'm sure of it. Huh. All we could do now is hope for the best and prepare for the worst. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Shit. Well, hell, it ain't like I'm scared or nothing. Let's just get this over with. Hey, damn it. Hey, where's whoever called us here? What are you thinking? Mondo, stop. No running. Well, then. I too shall go. Yeah, this is what they do. Would you like to repeat that? <laughs> hey, wait. Don't leave me here all alone. I can't remember what he sounds like. There's too many fucking voices. Okay, time for some more tutorial action. You can press the tab key to observe the room you're in. Observing will display what people and objects you can interact with. Sorry for the late notice. All right. See what happens. Yeah, so it shows you everything you can interact with. Like this sword. There's a fly in here. Oh, there is? Yeah. 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 <laughs> no, I lied. There's no fly. <laughs> it's your turn to read. A display case. There are all kinds of trophies and plaques inside. Of course, all the students who go in here are ultimate, right? Right. So this is probably just a tiny fraction of all their awards. Okay, do we want to talk to anybody? Not really. Okay, guys. Get mad at Kimmy if you're disappointed in the lack of story. What? No! <laughs> hey, I can't control it. I don't have any say. Still filled, I we were a team. <laughs> Still filled with uneasy dread, I did what the announcement said and went to the gym. And I saw it was waiting for us there. Oh, it Wait. really does look like an entrance ceremony. Yo! See? Yo. Told ya. It's totally normal entrance ceremony stuff. Hero was right. But in a way, that just emphasized how completely not normal all of us were. All of hey us there. were? Howdy! Hello! Is everyone here? Good! Then let's get things rolling! Well, there he is. Hmm. <laughs> Look at his little belly button. Huh? A teddy bear? I'm not a teddy bear. I am... Monokuma! And I am this school's headmaster! I love the, the music. <laughs> it's fun. It was the strangest thing I'd ever seen. Right before my eyes, it was... What I was seeing was, it was utterly incomprehensible! Nice to meet you all! Such a bright voice and carefree attitude was completely out of place. And all that anxiety I've been carrying with me suddenly transformed into outright fear. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? That teddy bear can talk! Oh, there it is. Calm down. I'm sure there's just a speaker inside it. Hey, come on now. I told you already. Uh, I can't really. Okay. I told you already. I'm not a teddy bear. I told you already. I'm not a teddy bear. Oh, yeah. That was good. I tried. I tried. That's rough, right? 
What did you just say? I'm your master. Oh my. Something like that. Also, I just saw I, I like his little audio bits. They're the most fun. They're really funny. The, the, there's one where he goes like, how strange. <laughs> I really like <laughs> that. How strange? How strange. <laughs> it's like if something's going on that he doesn't really quite understand. How strange. Yeah, he'll say that. And then, and then when he gets mad, sometimes he'll be like, now I'm really angry. <laughs> he likes I doing remember that, too. that yeah. yeah. And then I'm trying to think of some of my other favorites. There's one that he does where he's like, uh, um, suspicious, and I can't remember what it is. Oh, we'll hear it at some point. Point it out whenever it happens. I'm Monokuma, and I'm your headmaster. Say what? What? It moved. They're too similar. Yeah, they are. Yeah. <coughs> hmm. Seriously, man, calm down. It's probably just a remote control toy or something. How dare you compare me to a child's plaything? You've cut me deep, deeper than the Mariana Trench. <laughs> My remote control system is so complex, even the folks at NASA can't recreate or even comprehend it. Barrett. What do you say? Barrett? <laughs> he makes a lot of bear puns. Of course he does. Why wouldn't he? Barrett! Ah, but don't make me say stuff that might destroy NASA's dreams. I just couldn't bear that. Bear that, really? You are unfortunate. That's what you have to say? <laughs> now then, moving on. We really must hurry and get started. Come on. Giving up already? No other stupid bear puns? Now then. Quiet down now, quiet down. Ah, okay, so. He has abandoned the gag. Good morning. Everyone, stand at attention and bow. And good morning. You hear me? Good morning. Oh my god. What's your problem? You don't have to say it back. Now then. Now then. Let us commence with the most noteworthy and memorable entrance ceremony. Oh dear. First, mm, first, let's talk a bit about your school life here. Will be what your school life here will be like. Now, uh, make no mistake, you few students so full of potential represent the hope of the world. And to protect such splendid hope, you will all live a communal life together solely within the confines of this school. Do you need some water? Yeah. Okay. You're doing a great job, but it, it's rough. S sun water? Sorry. We can get more. It's free. Water's free. Thanks. You just get from the faucet. Got it's it. not like melted diamonds I'm drinking or anything. <laughs> melted diamonds. Oh my god. <laughs> Everyone will live in harmony together and adhere to the rules and regulations of the school. I already read that. Yeah. Huh? Hmm. Ah, now then, regarding the end date for this communal life. Too bad. There isn't one. What? In other words, you'll all be here until the day you die. Such is the school life you've been assigned. What did he just say? Until the day we d die? Yep. Oh, but fear not. We have quite an abundant budget, so you won't lack for all the common conveniences. Hold on a second. That's the least of our worries right now. Yeah, what the hell? You're saying I have to live here forever? You're screwing with us, right? It's true. I am <laughs> It's true. <laughs> I like that one too. I am not screwing with you. I am no liar. Of that you can be 100% sure. Uh-huh. Ah, huh. and just for your information, you're completely cut out from the outside world. Oh my. So you don't have to worry about that dirty, dirty land beyond these walls ever again. Cut off? So all those metal plates all over the school. Yes, we remember them. Again. They're there to keep us trapped in here? What did he think they were for? I don't know. 
That's exactly what they're for. Oh! Whatever. No matter how much you may yell and scream for help, help will not come. So with all that in mind, feel free to live out your life here with reckless abandon. Hey, come on. Oh, come on, what the hell is this? Come on, man. Come on. I don't care if the school or whatever is behind this all. I, I, this is really just a bad joke. It's a really bad joke. Yeah. Butchered that entire sentence. It, you're fine. <laughs> Damn you. Yeah, cut this shit out. It isn't funny anymore. I like how Unbelievable. Unbelievable. You keep saying this is a lie or a joke. A bunch of skeptics, all of you. What are you gonna do? But I guess you can't help it, huh? You all grew up in an age where you're taught to doubt your neighbor. Well, you'll have plenty of time to find out whether or not what I say is true. And when that time comes, you'll see with your own eyeballs that I speak the undeniable truth. Uh-oh. Most unfortunate. Having to live here forever would be quite the problem. What's this? Come now, what's the matter with all of you? You decided of your own free will to attend Holmes Peak Academy, didn't you? And now, before the entrance ceremony is even finished, you've already decided you want to leave? Hey, um... Oh, but you know, I guess I did forget to mention one thing. There is one way for you to leave the school. Great, what is it? Really? Actually... As headmaster, I've crafted a special clause for those of you who would like to leave. I call it the graduation clause. Now then. Now, let me tell you about this fun little rule. As I mentioned, in order to maintain an environment of harmony here, we rely on a communal lifestyle. And if someone were to disrupt that harmony, they and they alone would be allowed to leave the school. That, my students, is the graduation clause. I do. It just sounds like it's hurting. Just go for it, yeah. So I feel better. What? what do you mean by disrupt the harmony? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, if one person were to murder another. M murder? Yes, indeed. Stabbing, strangling, bludgeoning, crushing, hacking, drowning, igniting. How you do it? Doesn't matter. Sure doesn't. You must kill someone if you want to leave. It's as simple as that. <laughs> the rest is up to you. <laughs> Give it your all to achieve the best outcome in the worst way possible. A chill shot down my spine. You must kill someone if you want to leave. As soon as I heard those words, my blood went cold. <laughs> Boo -hoo -hoo! I bet that got your brain juices flowing. Beats the heck out of a human catching a salmon, huh? Like I said before, you guys are the hope of the world. But you know, taking that hope and seeing it get murdered creates a darkened shadow of despair. Extreme! And I just find that so darn exciting! Extreme! What the hell, what the hell are you talking about? To kill each other, it's, it's... To kill each other is to kill each other. I'm sure there's a dictionary here somewhere if you need it. Oh, that's nice. You know what it means. That's not the problem. <coughs> Why do we have to kill each other? Say what? Yeah, stop blabbering on about all the nonsense. Just let us go home already. Thank you. I wanted to help you. It's just a, there's a lot of stuff in this register. Yeah. <coughs> he said it for you. Blabbering, blabbering. What do you mean blabbering? Stop blabbering on about blabbering on. <laughs> How strange. He said it. <laughs> How strange. How strange. You guys just don't get it, do you? Let us go. Let us go. You keep on saying the same thing over and over and over and over. Listen, from this moment on, this school is your home, your life, your world. Got it? Yeah. And you can kill as much as you want to kill. So go ahead, go on a kill, kill, killing spree. All right, come on. How long do you gotta keep this up? Huh? Hmm? Eh? You know? You got us, okay? You scared the hell out of us. So you can go ahead and reveal the trick now. Huh? Reveal the trick? 
I'm right, right. Yeah, because I mean, you know, this is all some kind of trick and all, right? So, like. Dude, shut the hell up and get out of my way! Shoving Hiro aside, Mondo placed himself in front of Monokuma, his voice rumbling like thunder. You're fucking dead. Listen up, asshole! This shit's gone way too far! What the hell kind of joke is this? What's the matter? Joke? What, you mean like your hair? Uh, it's, he's a little right. son of a bitch! <laughs> <coughs> you wanna do Monokuma's voice? Sure. You don't have to do an exact replica or anything, just... I'll try, but yeah. yeah. Mondo roared out, and then there was a sudden boom. It was the sound of the floorboards as he kicked off and launched himself into the air. He flew at Monokuma, fast and straight as a bullet. He locked onto his target. You dead? <laughs> gotcha, you little piece of shit! I don't know if you're a toy or a stuffed animal or whatever the hell. Either way, I'm gonna rip you to fucking shreds! What? The violence against the headmaster is in violation of school regulations! Shut the fuck up! Let me out of here, I swear to Christ! <coughs> hey, damn it! What, no smart ass comeback this time? What, why, why is there beeping? Piece of shit! Stop that goddamn beeping and say something! Watch out! Watch out! Get rid of it! Huh? Hurry up and throw it! I know if her Frosty stunned him into silence or what, but without a word, he did what he was told. He threw Monokuma. And as soon as he did... <laughs> the hell? What the? Th that sure as shit wasn't a joke. It blew the hell up! There was a painful ringing in my ears, and I could smell gunpowder. Explosions might happen all the time in movies or whatever, but when it's real life, I never see anything like it. But, but you know, this means that the teddy bear's been destroyed, right? Hey! I told you, I'm not a teddy bear. I'm Monokuma! <coughs> I got a little bit of a cough from doing his voice so too much, I think. Do you want to go get some water? No. Okay. Uh, we're professionals. That means we experience pain. No, it means we get water. No, it means we tough it up. I like this hostile work we environment. We man up. <laughs> All right. Just kidding. Of All right. Just kidding. All right. Ooh-ah. <laughs> There's another one. Whoa. Damn you. You son of a bitch. You seriously tried to kill me just now. Of course. Well, yes, I was serious about trying to kill you. You did violate one of the school regulations after all. I'll let you off with a warning this time, but you better be careful from now on. Any naughty boy or girl who violates my rules won't get off with just a little swat on the butt. This is bad. H hey, so does this mean there's like a bunch more of you around somewhere? Yep. Monokumas have been placed all throughout the school, yes. Plus, don't forget the surveillance cameras installed everywhere. And if you're caught breaking any rules, well, you all just saw what happened, right? <laughs> and I won't be so forgiving with my punishment next time, so don't let it happen again. Huh? That, that's not even punishment. That's just wrong. Well... Well, now then, lastly, to commemorate your joyous entry into our school, I have a little something for you. Ta -da! This is our official student handbook. Pretty cool, huh? As you can see, it's fully digital. So naturally, we call it... The E-Handbook! Oh, my God. <coughs> Ahem. Yes, well, moving fo on... I almost said forward... This handbook is absolutely vital to the healthy school life, so don't lose it. When you start it up, it will display your name. Always make sure you have the right one. Now, this is not your everyday notebook. It has so many more uses than that. What? Also, it com it's completely waterproof. Splash it, wash it, drown it, it'll keep on ticking. And thanks to the Space Age design, it can withstand an impact force of up to 10 tons. Very resistant. It contains all of our school regulations, so make sure you review them thoroughly. You guys, 
You'll hear me say this a lot, but any violation of school regulations would not be tolerated. Shing! Rules restrict, yes, but they also protect. Society, for example, would be utter chaos without laws. Yes, indeed. The same thing applies here, which is why it's crucial we have strict punishments in place for violators. Okay, well, that brings our interest ceremony to a close. Bye-bye. Please enjoy your abundantly dreary school life, and see ya. And with that, he was gone, leaving us all in a state of shock. So, guys, how would you define what we just experienced? What the <laughs> oh. I don't get this look. Oh, it's like, you want to go, bro? You want to go? He's like, let's go <clears> that. <laughs> Is this an acid trip? How? Why? I don't understand any of this. Hmm? We have to live here forever? Or k kill? <laughs> what? What just happened? Calm down. Everyone, we need to just calm down. First, let's just take a second to summarize everything we just heard. Based on what Monokuma said, we essentially have two choices. Choice number one is that we each stay here, living a communal life together until the day we die. And the other choice is... Indeed. If we want to get out of here alive, we have to kill someone, right? That's... But... Killing someone... That's... <laughs> We were abducted out of nowhere and stuffed into this place meant to look like a school. And now we're supposed to start killing each other? This is... No! Oh, Jesus. This is... This is just... What is this? Lord of the Flies. A lie is what it is. All these ridiculous things we've heard. This all has to be fake. Hm. Right now, it doesn't really matter if it's real or fake. What matters is... So, in other words... Is there anyone here who's seriously considering all this? To that, nobody had a response. He ruins everything. Yeah, Biakio is a fucking idiot. He's the fucking worst. Stupid piece of shit. Keeping myself, keeping quiet myself, I looked around at the others. They all stare at one another, this trying to gauge. Feels very out of place. I'm sorry. You won't think so when we get through the game. Okay. They all stared at one another, trying to gauge each other's thoughts. I can almost taste the hostility. And that's when it hit me. I realized the true terror hidden within the rules Monokuma had laid out. You must kill someone if you want to leave. Those words had planted vicious thoughts deep within each of us. Each of us became suspicious of everyone else. We were forced to wonder, is someone going to betray us? And that was how my new school life began. This school, which had come out of nowhere to raise my hopes so high. It's not a school of hope. It's a school of despair. It's true. It's a true statement. I so that's the prologue. That the prologue. Yeah, that was the prologue. Cool. Surviving students, 15. <coughs> Excuse me. To be continued. Okay, so... I think that's gonna do it for the first video. Yeah? Oh, wait. I can't relate, there's not much room. Oh, I just hit the mic. Sorry. There's, there's no room. Oh, this is the boxer. <laughs> Remember that SNL skit?
See, Hope. Hope, it's getting burnt up. Oh, he no! hates Hope. He wants to spare. <laughs> so, yeah. Thank you guys for tuning in to part one of Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. Part two, if you want to see it, is live right now. What? You can watch part two immediately. There's yeah. a link in the description. There will also be an annotation at the end of the video. The series will be continued on my second channel. It will not be here. No. It will also have a million times more action. Yeah. Well, at least ten times. Well, this was the introduction chapter. So what What do you think so far on your revisit? Um, It's nice to re-meet every, well, almost everyone. Mm -hmm. Except for asshole head. And uh, Who's asshole head? The one who was like, with the glasses, but he starts with a B. Biakia? Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. asshole head. Uh, I'm excited. I'm excited to play it again. <coughs> yeah, we'll have to have to keep going. Yeah. Until we finish it. So, yeah, if you want to see more of this series, uh, subscribe to John Wolf, I guess. And just want to plug... Oh, sorry. It's Okay. <laughs> Wanted to plug Kimmy's uh, Twitch again. That's also in the description. Twitch.tv slash Kimmy Kims. She plays a lot of point and click story narrative driven games. So yeah. she streams like five times a week. Uh, Yeah, four or five. Yeah. Times so check out her stream if that's something you might be into. And we'll see you guys in part two. Do you want to say it? Say what? what she, say? she doesn't watch my videos. <laughs> Yes, I do. What do I say at the end of the video? <laughs> Think critically. Yeah, but you got to do it with the... Oh, sorry. Ready? Same time. Ready? No, no. You do it. Here, I'll set it up for you. I'll set up, I'll set up the home run for you. All right. Okay. Okay. I'm about to throw the pitch. Okay. Okay. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we'll see you in the next one. Think critically. That was good. That was okay. Wait, did you do this? I I did no, no, an no, no, upward no. swoop. You do you do this. This is military salute. No, this is. Oh, it is. Yeah. Oh. That's why I did this. Oh, I always do this. Oh. Well, my... okay. Well, okay. Pitch it up again, and I'll do it right. Well, no, no. You know we don't have to do that. Think critically. Oh, okay. This is just. I'm just. Gonna... I like ended in a high five. Did you see that? Think critically. Everyone give, give me a high five. Okay, bye. Yeah.